In this video, we are going to have a look at how to disable Windows Copilot on a Windows 11 machine using Intune. I know it's kind of going against the norm that we have. I mean, there's a lot of AI content and you know, Copilot content coming in regularly on a daily basis from Microsoft, and you know, there is there is a place for that, but not every organization may be ready for such a change to enable Copilot and have the users play with it and then develop a, a lot of help desk calls. You know, that's how typically the organizations work. So they may want to control it for the time being by disabling Copilot. And when the time comes or once the users are properly educated, they might want to turn it on for the users on a department by department basis or based on how IT friendly they are. Anyway, whatever the scenario that you have, uh, let's see how we can do this using uh, Windows Intune on an Entra ID uh, joined Windows 11 machine. So to set the scenes, I have a Windows 11 machine over here, which is enrolled into Intune and it is completely into ID joint. So I have uh, Copilot over here. Let me just close that one off. So this machine is our test one. So what we need uh, in the Intune portal is to have a configuration profile that can be used to turn off Windows Copilot for the time being on the machines that we select. So for that, let's go into the Intune portal. So intune.microsoft.com, the one that I have on the screen. Let's click on devices. Let's go into Windows on the left-hand side by platform and let's select configuration profiles let's just wait for that to load so i have a few config profiles that has been created for various various things that has been covered in previous videos do check out my channel if you are interested in those things around microsoft intune and Entra id so in order to turn off copilot let's just create a new policy so click on create and select new policy and from the left right hand side let's select the platform as windows 10 and later and the profile type as settings catalog and let's click on the create button now let's give a sensible name uh, let's say turn off windows copilot uh, for the time being and let's just copy that and put it as a description as well and let's click the next button now within the settings catalog we have to select um, the add settings button which brings up the settings picker on the right hand side and what we are looking for is Copilot. So let's just search for that to find relevant settings. Let's wait for it to load. So there's only one that comes back, which is under the category of Windows AI. Double click on that one. That brings the setting um, on the below pane that we have within the right hand side. You select turn off Copilot in Windows um, for the users. Selecting that enables the option on the left hand side. So this is more of a picker on the right hand side. And we need to choose the options on the left hand side of the window so here it says turn off copilot in windows um, and we just want to turn it off so we just toggle the switch on and it says disable copilot so this is the setting that we want and we click next now regarding tags we're not using tags in general um, if, you, if your organization has tags then you can select the ones um, that is of acceptable to you uh, i just keep it the default values and let's click on next and within assignments, we want to see which users or devices uh, should have this particular policy applied. You could have a in a group that has a relevant users or devices if you want to test it out on a controlled basis. And once you're happy with the result, you can come back to the policy and then select all users or all, all, all devices. Uh, for me, let's just check, say, okay, all devices and click next. And let's just review what we are trying to create. We are trying to turn off. Windows Copilot over here and we are applying it to all the users and let's just click on create. It takes a few seconds to create the policy as well as you can see from the right hand side toast it has been created. Let's click the refresh button just to bring the policy in the list just to make sure that it has been created. So here it is turn off Windows Copilot. So now that the policy is created let's just synchronize the settings. Let's force the settings on the machine so that we can test it out straight away. So for that, we go into devices, we click on Windows, and we find our Windows machine within the list. I only have one machine, so Cloudific-PC. Click on that one, and let's click on the sync button settings to kind of force the settings. So this is equivalent to the GP update slash force in the AD world. So it says Intune will attempt to check in with the device now, and if it is successful, it will try and sync the actions or the policies to the device. And let's say yes to that. While that is cooking, let's just go back to the device. We can also synchronize the settings from the end user perspective. So let's click on the Windows Start menu 
go into settings and let's go into accounts on the left hand side go into access work or school and pick the enter id options by clicking the info tab and we can use the sync button over here to synchronize the settings from the end device so this is the end device trigger trying to pull the information from the intune portal the one that we showed before from the intune portal was to trigger the sync again from the cloud endpoint back into the machine so it's a kind of a two-way sync just to kind of force it out and let's wait for the sync to complete and see whether the windows copilot has been turned off for the machine the sync has been completed as you can see so let's now check whether windows copilot has been removed so let's close the window let's sign out from the machine because it is a user setting that we have let's sign out from the machine and sign back in to see whether we have the copilot icon being removed from the taskbar and also whether the options have been taken off let's wait for the machine to come back okay let's log back in so that's where that's our acceptable um, usage policy which we configured later like earlier on let's click on okay let's just punch in the pin number for the user and let's go back into the machine and see whether we have copilot being turned off let's just wait for it to load that desktop all right we have logged back into the machine so as you can see we don't have the copilot uh, preview um, icon anymore in the taskbar let's just search for copilot and see whether it brings up any options uh, we don't have anything so it looks like it has worked so the copilot has been turned off for this particular machine by using um, microsoft intune hope this video has been informative for you if so please consider subscribing to the channel and also check out the existing videos that we have within the channel I regularly upload videos pretty much on a daily basis around Microsoft 365, Azure, Windows, PowerShell, Intune, and general IT stuff. So, see you in the next video. Thank you.